Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. Even though it's super cold out here, because you know we're in New York, I'm excited because in January, we're actually going back to Florida for two reasons. Number one, we're gonna go help Paul fix his uh, filtration for his big tank. Number two, number two, we will be guest speaking at the Autobahn Park School uh, where they have a new tank and we're gonna be bringing them some special animals, okay? So you guys wanna stay tuned. We're gonna be there January I don't know the 23rd is the day, all right? Oh man, we're going to Florida in January. I gotta start working on my six pack. I'll see you guys in Florida, let's go. It's World Cup going on, you know. That's it, there's nothing we can do right now. He's there to just to yell when Brazil scores. You yell and I'll find out what happened. This shipment came in from Brazil. Before we get to this video and any more jokes, Big Jai's gonna tell you an important announcement. What's He's that pregnant. Announcement? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. No, I'm just kidding. So go tell him. You came up with it, why am I gonna tell him? Tell him. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. Was the Christmas sale. Right? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, of course. 20%. It's gonna be above on the top of the website, on the main page, like circling right above. Oh. And then, okay. There's I, another I one. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna tell them the discounts, but I'm not gonna tell them the coupon codes. You're gonna have to go to www.predatoryfitness.com, and you can see the coupon codes there. But we're gonna do something extra special this year. There's gonna be 10, 15. What 10, do you mean? 10 is good. 10 coupon codes. Well, actually, it's gonna be one coupon code valid for 10 purchases. So we're putting an embedded secret coupon code somewhere in the description of one of the product pages on the website. And just to be fair, because we have so many product pages, I'm gonna limit it to the oddball section of our website. Okay, so we have categories, so, arowana, so bar, it's whatever. It's almost like hunting. Yes, it's egg. like a treasure hunt. Yeah, Okay. on, on Easter. Right? Yes, so okay. this is gonna be a treasure hunt and it's gonna be a deep, deep discount. So it's worth it for you to guys go hunt for it. And don't try to get slick. I'm not gonna use the name coupon, so you don't try to search it in the search bar for coupon. It's gonna be some weird name embedded in one of the product pages. So you guys go hunting now. So guys, if you wanna go deep, like we always do, don't forget to look at the alcohol page. You didn't say the percentage, right? But no, it's gonna be deep. It's gonna be deep. It's gonna be more than 10, it's gonna right. be more than 15, it's gonna be more than 20. Oh. It's gonna be more than 25. Ooh. It's gonna be more than 30. Ooh. So you better find it, it's only 10. This is crazy, I didn't even know about this. What? Are you sure we can afford all this? It's only 10 people, I think we can. Guys, just take it easy on us, okay? Don't go too deep like we're going on you. All right, let's do it. So what do you got? Final bag, Oh. blue <laughs> water. Okay, so you order this. Yeah. You explain. What, okay, so I... what's this box costing right now? I don't know, I didn't break down the calculation. <laughs> All right, but you it go. should be cheaper, the boxes are smaller, much lighter. Um, this is actually a very common fish, right? But I like it a lot. It's black and white, so that's a very classic look, but it's a very big size. I don't know, can you guys see it through the bag? If you can't, it's a giant Raphael cat. Usually, I'll op we'll open up the bag. Usually they come in tiny like this and they're fairly cheap, but this is a monster, Raphael. Let's put him to work, bro. He's watching the game, huh? Eddie! Eddie! Look at his face! All right, this one, he is not a Raphael, but it's okay. hard to see as well. So we're just gonna have to... Yeah. I thought you said these didn't come. Only two pieces. Oh, so that's one of them. We're gonna get this party started. So they guys talk too much. We lost two minutes of this video just from talking. We gotta get to these fish. But they're all doing well. We already opened the boxes. We cheated a little bit. Oh, dude. Being a father sucks. Ooh. <laughs> okay, got it. See, I started the last and I finished first. Wait, is that good? That's good, right? Start last and finish first? No, I don't want to start I, last. In what world are you talking about? Whoa, That's not whoa, good. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> unboxing, unboxing. <laughs> okay, so this is a Sultan Pleco. They're really cool. They look like a snow leopard. Okay, look at that now. Nice white stripe. Beautiful fish. <laughs> That's one thing here that I never had to do in Florida, is run the cold water out of the line. Because otherwise now, imagine if we just put them in there without taking a look at this water, it'll be pretty cold and then that's it. All right, I'm jumping ahead without you. Oh, this one's a little bit moist here. <laughs> What's so funny? What do we got here? Are these mangoes? Mangoes are gold nuggets. They mango. have spots, but they have yellow spots. Oh, mango with spots. It's, it could be a hybrid. Mango, mango, gold nugget hybrid. Okay. <laughs> you didn't tell me, bro. You didn't tell me. Woo! 
just, I, now I'm good, let's go. <laughs> Bro, I thought he just got shocked by an electric eel or something. <laughs> Neymar, bro, look at that. Woo! Let's go, baby. This is weird. What is this? This is not a gold nugget. This might. Be, oh, this might be a new variant of the gold nugget with the tinier spots. That's what this is. Hey, hey. I'm not a Plato expert here. Uh, these are the golden vampires. It's the vampire. Yeah. 172s, right? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Well, I, don't call me your numbers. Gold right, header, heterodon or something, right? Yeah. This is the gold vampire. It's a beautiful fish. Let's acclimate these Raphaels because they're pretty big. Crap, dude. We gotta get this cool water out too. Look at that. It's minus 10. I can feel it. <laughs> I have a thermometer on my fingertip. Go oh, get up, get up. You definitely don't want to get your fingers stuck under the pictorial fence. Because when they close, they just open when they want to open. Trust me. But this guy needs more water here. But guys, this is pretty big. I know why he ordered. Uh because they're not they usually don't see them of that size. Look at that. These catfish right here, they're actually pretty interesting because when, when I was in Brazil fishing for the monster peacocks, they uh, every piece of driftwood you look, they get stuck inside of it. They go in head first, and then they use the pectoral fins like this. They open up, and when a, uh, a predator tries to pull them from the back, these are stuck on the wood. There's no way you can get them out. They only close when they want to close. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so we got to do uh, some pleco CPR here. We're going to have to... Come back to you guys. I gotta open all these boxes, these bags fast, and try to save as many fish as we can. Be right back. All right, this new box right here. Okay. This guy right here, I think, is the Para Plecos. Pretty, you wanna just pour them all in there and then we we'll put it in the tank? Just put it on the table and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these look cool. They look like, the other one looked like a snow leopard. This guy's look more like a, a real leopard with the yellow. You'll get a nice orange color to it and black dots. Pretty fish. You'll be able to see better when uh, it's out of the bag. Right. Now look look how interesting this is. They made a second level, right? And they put pieces of styrofoam so the box doesn't get crushed. Look at that. The bags on the bottom doesn't get crushed and the fish are all alive. So that's how you maximize shipping and freight costs. Instead of putting maybe 25 per box, now they're putting 50 per box. And the fish are arriving all healthy. So we're gonna open these guys up and we'll be right back. All right guys, here. This is the paraplecos. I'm gonna put them in here, start acclimating them. You got some aluminum remover? Who is that? He's taking over the unboxing. Let him do it. He's happy. Brazil's winning. Let him do it. Hey, hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. All right, Eddie, what is that? That's, that's the same thing? I don't know. <laughs> At least he knew that. Oh, wait, no, this is a frog. Wow, that's pretty nice size. These are actually really, really pretty fish. I'm pretty sure these are the leopard frogs. So let's unbox them, let's take them all out. Cut all the, bo the bags, see, look, look, this one you can see the stripe better. See? These guys are super pretty fish. All right, so they all look good. Same thing, two levels. We're gonna go ahead, cut these up, put them in the tray before we put them in there. We'll be right back. Barba. Hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, guys, so now you can see the leopard frogs better. They more, they look more or less like these guys right here. You can see they're already, colors are coming out. We can uh, put them up here. With this dude, he's a lonely rider over there. Look at the colors on this one. Oh, to save it. Really All right, so there's gonna be a lot of cool plecos in the shipment. We have another shipment coming from Thailand and another one coming from Brazil, hopefully before the holidays, and uh, they will also be... No. Uh -oh. What was they say? I don't even know. So these guys are really pretty. Um, a lot of people like the, the leopard frog. And these are the 177, the biggest spots. Yeah. All right, big spots, 177. We got a whole box to unload here. And uh, just get, get, get to work. It's, I guess he's not working today. Hello. All right, so the L177s are open. We're gonna jump to another box. I don't know how many boxes we have left. Oh, he doesn't speak English, sorry. All right, let me put these guys away and uh, go to that box. All right, let me see here. More little bags. These actually go very well with Christmas time. These are snowball plecos, big white spots. 
bunch of them. They all look different too, more or less. Look at that, that guy has big spots. Super cool fish, they're black and white. We got a whole box of them. Time to uh, go ahead and acclimate them, put them in a tank, we right back. So this is the same type of uh, uh, plecos in these boxes. It's more, this shipment is more for like pleco lovers out there. But we do have another shipment coming from Brazil. I'm working on one from Peru with some, some different stuff in there. And I also have another one from Thailand before the end of the year. And after that, we're gonna take a break, try to catch up on a lot of plumbing, a lot of re rearranging things here before we can start bringing more shipments for the next year. But we do have a cool video coming up with Zen Aqua. We, uh, we asked him to... <laughs> These guys are rich, they're enjoying life. Let's go. Snowball is actually really cool. Plecos, you know, for, for Christmas, it's snow, snowball, you know what I mean? We actually have a pretty cool video coming up with Zen Aqua. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but he's building something pretty cool that we're going to put these guys in. So we're going to finish acclimating these and jump into another box. All right, so this is one box of the snowballs. We're going to let Eddie over here acclimate and we're going to jump into this box right here, which got some pretty cool stuff. These are the Bumblebee Oscars. Really nice size, about, let's say three and a half, four inches. They have a nice yellow line, green eyes. Once they acclimate, they look even better. Oh, this size, look at this size. So we're gonna unbox all these guys and jump into another box. So these Oscars right here, there's only one that's laying down. He was moving a second ago. So I'm gonna give him a chance to recover. Get him some nice fresh water. That might help him wake up. Let's see. Another one that's pretty popular and a lot of people like it. These are the Sunshine Plecos. Really pretty. Black with a lot of yellow or gold. Different sizes. Look at this guy. It's a nice one. So more cutting little box, bro. Little box sucks. Little bags, they suck. This is so much work, you know, like getting them out instead of one big bag and getting it all out. Let's uh, start cutting these up. Let Eddie, let's last nice box. Last box, no. We got a couple more. And I'm pretty depressed, guys. Research is lost, so I gotta go home. This is actually pretty cool. This is a big uh, golden vampire pleco. These guys right here, they eat shrimp. Beautiful fish. They're very, uh, they eat pretty much anything. Look at those teeth. Look at that. So you gotta be careful, because I think sometimes you put your finger in it and it might bite. Come on, buddy. All right, so these are the golden vampires. And then we have the pyroplecos, which the colors are pretty light right now. They usually darken up, up a little bit. And these are the golden sunshines. They got really nice black with the gold spots. Really pretty fish. Up here we have the three big Raphaels, striped Raphaels. Like, when I mean big, these guys are really big. Look at that, usually you see them around five inches. These dudes are probably like eight inches. These leopard frogs, bumblebee Oscars. And over here we have the snowball. Look at this guy. His colors are ready. Let me find him. He's pretty much already acclimated, ready to go. Look at him. Beautiful fish. So like I said, today was more of like a small fleck of shipment. I totally forgot we have Colombia coming tomorrow, so we're definitely gonna need to make more tank space and then Thailand coming next week. Thanks for watching. This is, like I said, a small unboxing video. But before we go, I just wanna let you know, Mr. or I, I guess it's a Mrs. Mrs. Puffer because it's pretty big, so she's gotta be a female. Um, I think male puffers don't get that big. I could be wrong. But she was eating one shrimp every other day, and literally yesterday she ate like three shrimp Mussels, clams, you can see everything. Octopus, she went nuts. So we're glad, I, even her color looks a lot better. We're glad that she's coming back to life. I actually wanna do a video feeding her for you guys. Maybe on our next video, I bought like really big shrimp and we're gonna take care of her. But so far, she's doing better. Her color's coming back, her appetite is good. When we got her, she wasn't even eating. So let's hope uh, Miss Buff over here will 
heal up. I don't know if her eyes will heal up completely. I know that one eye is looking better, but this one has a white marking on it. So I'm not sure if that's just blind or if she's gonna be able to recover. But as long as she's healthy, as long as she's eating, that's all that matters, right? So let's go, let's put this fish away. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, we have more unboxing coming up tomorrow and we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, find that uh, coupon. Hey, is the coupon gonna be up soon? I'll work on it today. All right, so by the time the video's up, you guys should get it. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.